Hi, I'm Tanil Peterson from Peterson's Property Management. Chris and I have been investing in rental properties for the last 10 years. And with our experience in property management and finance, we thought we'd take the opportunity to share our latest knowledge with you. We've recently just purchased a new investment property. And Chris thought it would be a really good opportunity to address our interest rates and structuring of our finances. Chris, tell us about how you structured our portfolio in order to maximise the current market. Well, it's now something I've been keeping a bit of an eye on lately, and all day every day, I suppose, with my mortgage broking business, I'm tending to keep an eye on rates. And so it's obviously very important for investors. And I took the opportunity while we were uh, settling a new property to restructure uh, about another one and a half million dollars of debt that we've got on other, other property. Uh, because I've been keeping an eye on the underlying swap rates. Now, they are uh, what actually affect the fixed rates, and these underlying swap rates were starting to rise quite aggressively, which over time translates into, into the fixed rates tending to move up. So I grabbed the opportunity to actually fix uh, probably quite a bit of our debt for, for the longer term. Uh, over the last 10 years, interest rates have averaged about 7.8%. And we managed to lock about 1.1 million at um, about 5.9 percent, which to, to some people might still seem high. If you're, if you're looking at some other rates still down in the low fives, but my expectation is we'll be seeing rates quite a bit higher in 12, 18 months' time. So we decided to almost take a like a bit of an insurance policy and take the opportunity to, to lock in and give ourselves quite a bit of certainty um, over the next few years. So, Chris, what would you recommend people do with the interest rates at the moment? Well, you know, everyone's situations are very different, and one thing to, you need to be very clear on is you don't want to be fixing long term if you might be selling, you know, in the next couple of years. Uh, there's something up you up to incurring break costs. So, what I would say is um, analysing the best way to structure your interest rates is definitely something you need to to look at your own personal position on. There's good information out there. Tony Alexander's a, a good economist. Cameron Bakery, who's a ANZ economist, has, has done a, a very good recent article on it. But it's um, something you can either do your own research and make your own decision, or otherwise you probably want to consult uh, an expert who can maybe guide you through what options are best for you. Well, thanks for that, Chris, and thanks for tuning in. And stay tuned for our next video update. Thank you. Thank you.